So we inherited a large property in Northern Thailand earlier this year. On this property is a Christian school and a children's home. We have 116 children that attend our school and have seven kids that live in our children's home on the property. Every day, we pick up these children from many villages around our property. Many of these children come from difficult situations, impoverished conditions, and are at high risk for human trafficking. We want to provide a great education for these kids through our school. But not only a good education, but an opportunity to encounter Jesus and grow up with a biblical worldview. To make this possible, we need your help. We are looking for people to sponsor these kids on a monthly basis. Your sponsorship will allow for these kids to be discipled by our team, as well as local Christian educators. These people are not only educating these kids, but investing in them with love and compassion. We care deeply that these kids encounter Jesus and develop a relationship with Him. We also want them to have a quality educational experience with us. We are excited to offer them learning opportunities that they otherwise would not have with teachers who genuinely care about them and in a learning environment that helps them to grow. We really love these kids and believe that God has a plan for them. These kids truly are the future of Thailand and an investment in them is an investment in this nation. Some of these kids do not have a home to return to, and I'd like to share a little bit about them. So there's seven kids that sleep in the same one, or do the boys and girls separate? The kids is not so far from here, but um, they some of them from the tribe, they're from different place, um, especially like Mina. Usually she's always studied in Buddhist school, uh -huh. but then she had been to church and she kind of like had that hunger. So she see that this is Christian school, so she wow. asked, like, can I stay here? Can wow. I stay here? Wow. Uh, the parents noticed that they would transform as they in this Christian school, so they want to... They uh, want to come. Yeah, they want their younger wow. uh, brothers and sisters to come here. Wow. So. What are some of the situations and the difficult backgrounds that some of these kids come from? Like, what are the challenges and things that happen in the homes around? There's two situations. They actually from the tribe, Hmong tribe, um, and the father were in jail, single mom and work day by day. They're really poor and they just struggle. So they ask as well to just be in this school. And another case, uh, one of the kids, they're in special condition, couldn't really learn well, can't really do anything socially as well. So the mom always have to lock that that her kids in the room because she's just so afraid. If anything's happened while well, she's go out to sell ice cream, like that's how she dealt with her son. So she asked, like, can I, can I, my son, just be in this school? Because um, she trusts this school and she's just see that this school have like a uh, Christian value, and she believe in this school. I'm part of it. ก็ไม่กงเป็นเคยอยู่ที่ของภาคนี้เนาะได้รับการช่วยเหลือจากแม่หมูสีค่ะพี่แบงค์ฟันทั้งสองคนแล้วโอ้ขอบใจมากขอ
Uh, Proverbs. Proverbs. It's for the boy. And that's for the boys. Okay. Please to a home saludi Psalm. That's the Psalms, and that's for the Girl. girls. Okay. <laughs> Great names. Oh. And how many girls stay in here? Three girls. Four. Four girls. Four girls. Okay. Consider it all their needs mm. and not just to be educated but have a happy life. Yeah. So she even think through the practical stuff, like what kind of fan, what kind of tools that they need, what kind of, yeah, just anything. Take care of them, yeah. yeah, just like There's a lot of mom. needs. All right, and then let's go look at the boys' room. Okay. There's three boys that stay in here. Is that right? Yes. Yeah, three boys. Yes, three boys. Mm -hmm. But Megan will do all that cleaning, cooking. She cooks, cleans, and yeah. takes care of all, Being, all of them. Yeah. All yeah. seven of them. Wow. Yeah. If you would like to sponsor one of these kids, we have a special sponsorship for them. We're gonna go visit the homes of some of our students that are attending our school, but we're gonna show you uh, just a glimpse into their lives, where they're living and their, their, their living situations as well. We'll see. Yes, come on, go! Go, 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 go! Wow, you guys breaking the tree! Whoa! Good job, for Jesus! So, a lot of our kids come from villages like this um, that are around our property and the school and the children's home. There's about 25 to 30 different villages surrounding our, our, our school. And so today, a bunch of us came up, a teacher joined us and has brought us to some of the children's homes. So it's been really neat just to see where they're from, um, what their environment, their village looks like. And so today's been a, a really special day for us. We are so excited for the opportunity that we have to impact these kids. Would you pray about partnering with us and making this a reality for these kids? Please go to www.sponsortykids.com to learn more on how you can help these kids.